Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Uh, the only channel that can get you out of a speeding ticket. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and the channel that our moms watch. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink some Ball Blair. Yes, what he said. <laughs> and nothing, nothing unsavory. <laughs> Okay, so this is a gift. Now, I'm gonna make a statement about bottles. Are you ready? Our list of whiskeys that people have requested for us to try mm -hmm. is now seven pages long. Right? So don't be surprised when it's like you suggest one today. Yes. And it takes us, you know, two months to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you send us a bottle, or you bring us a bottle, guess which gets bumped to the top of the list? Did somebody send us this? Brad Whittington. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, not, not the best at raising children. <laughs> but a really interesting... I think he might agree with you on that one. Funny man. <laughs> okay, so, Ball Blair. Oh, that is... You wanted me to say it, didn't you? Ball Blair. You want... <laughs> I keep it classy on this. Uh-huh. Ball Blair 2002. Now, there's some really cool things about this distillery that I really like. It smells really friendly. Um, but, yeah. But also, I'm, I, I'm not expecting it to be sweet and one note boring. Yeah, it's like sponge cake or like angel food cake. You know, angel food cake has this light and slightly vanilla and yeah. then slightly um, the bread on the outside is slightly toasted because it was connected and touching the edges of the pan. It's like a smoked sugar cookie. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> because yummy. those are things. Smoked sugar cookies. We cake. should make one of those. Oh yeah. Wow. Ooh, cinnamon. That is good. Yeah, front leading flavor. There's lots of cinnamon. Some vanilla. Now I'm getting apple. Yeah, some vanilla and apple floating. You know what's making it's apple pie all of a sudden. Yeah. Cinnamon, br toasted bread uh, crust. A la mode. A la mode with what kind of ice cream? Well, vanilla. Just vanilla? The only Not kind. Like a, yeah. The only kind with uh, with apple pie. Apple pie. I just had apple pie and vanilla ice cream last night. You know what I like about this? Besides, because I'm American, the really wonderful taste. Mm. That beefy ass cork. Yeah, you're looking forward to the day you <laughs> tie that one on. That is amazing. We should finish this <laughs> bottle down ceremony. If we finish that, we won't be able to pull off the bottle down ceremony. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. that's a as long as I can pull off that cork. <laughs> that's all I need to pull off. Okay, this one. It, all the thoughts that come to mind are light and pretty and fresh. But it's not boring and it's not thin. No. It's got a richness to it. Super saturated. It's got complexity to Vibrant. it. Vibrant. It's, um, it's surprising that more people don't know about Ball Blair. It's such a fantastic whiskey. All right. Um, every time you... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Every <laughs> comes time... Comes to your mind. Every time he says Ball Blair, I, th I feel like he's going to say Ball Bag. <laughs> <laughs> he gets like three quarters of the way there. Three quarters of the way there. Yeah. And then... One and of I know it. One of these times... I'm gonna slip. Just throw down the ball bag. So, <laughs> so uh, 1790, this distillery was started for the first time. Which distillery? Uh, ball Blair. <laughs> now I can't. Now it's, you're hanging me up because you got it stuck in my head. Okay, so uh, here's the cool thing about Ball Blair. Man, are you ready? I, I'm surprised how much I like this. You know oh, what yeah. this is? You know what? They, well, we got some others over here to try if we want to. Ooh, ooh. I, I'm putting this on the same level as the Glen Cadam 15. All the things Ooh. I really love about that, except it doesn't have the cream note. That yeah, you say there's no cream in this one. Right. No. I, um, it's, uh, there's a lot going on. It's one of these whiskeys that is sweet and friendly, but very big, saturated flavors um, and some complexity, too. Yes. Oftentimes, you have to get it really smoky and challenging to get it complex. To get complexity. This is sweet, tiny bit of smoke, but still... I love their designer, too. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. So, uh, here's what's really cool about this distillery. Mm -hmm. Now, or I think, just because it's interesting, um, you know, most distilleries will have a warehouse full of casks aged different ages. Yeah. And then they go grabbing whiskeys to create their 2000, or their 12 year old whiskey. Right. Right. Now, in a 12 year old whiskey, you can have some 20 year old barrels, you can have some 50 year old barrels, very rarely. You can have some uh, 15 year old barrels, but it just means the youngest barrel is 12. Right. right? Now, Bobler started doing vintage releases, which means what's in here mm -hmm. is stuff that was made in 2002 what? and bottled in 2012. What? Okay. Right? So, so that would have been like what they say and what John McDonald, the, um, the master distiller, says is, we don't tell our whiskey when it's done. We wait for our whiskey to tell us when it's ready. Let me tell you this. This is easily in the top 
10 for me. Oh, yeah. I, it, I am actually... Now, this is their 10. It used to be it was a Ball Blair 10 or a right. Ball Blair 12. I'm going to get two other Ball Blairs. Oh, yes. I'm, right. I am fans of the Ball Bag. This is easily top 10. And uh, I could be convinced, depending on the day, depending on the mood, we're inching towards top 5. I like it that much. Tell me... Is this a crazy expensive, rare, hard to find thing? It is hard to find. It's not. Uh, it's not crazy expensive, but it's not cheap. They're like 50, 60 bucks. Fifty to seventy-five, depending on which one you're getting. Yeah. Um, now this. What are the different numbers? Is there sixteen-year-old? Did you already say what the different that's numbers? That's ten. Mean? Okay, but this says like two thousand two is oh, the that's, year. That's okay. the vintage year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nineteen ninety-nine. Okay. Was when this was made and then bottled in twenty fifteen. Okay. So this is all whiskeys that are 16. Mm -hmm. This one's 2003, mm -hmm. bottled in uh, 2015. So this is 12-year-old whiskeys. Now, are these basically the same ball bag thing, but it's different agings? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna see. The in th in theory, uh, they might be doing different casks, but I don't. I didn't think so. Yeah. But so this is six years older than the one we just poured. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine. Mm. I'm getting less of the sweet, more character in there. Yeah. Mm, that got a little more dramatic. This reminds me of Highland Park now. This is more floral for me. Mm-hmm. More floral, more intense. Oh! It's halfway between Highland Park 12 and Deanston 12. I don't remember the Deanston 12. It's floral. <laughs> You're not wearing a mooch necklace, my friend. I can. <laughs> that can be easily remedied. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we're gonna try these three. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out: is there a limit to how greedy a mooch can be? Am I really gonna make you pull out four, possibly five whiskeys? And we're still, we still have more videos to shoot today, too. Yeah. So <laughs> the let's stick to Bobler. The, the conclusion that I'm coming to—it's a very responsible conclusion. Are you ready? I was born ready. F you, I'm getting the necklace. Ah! I want the damn necklace. <laughs> <laughs> you get them. You bring them to me. Now we sort of went backwards because I didn't think I was going to do all three. We didn't do the 10, 12, and 16. We did 10, 16, and now I just poured the 12. Okay. Uh, Ooh, and it's all butterscotch. No. Ooh, that's tasty. I still think the 10 is the most magical whiskey of the bunch. That is crazy how different something can be just with uh, aging. No, the 10 is the most wonderful thing. No, it is. I agree. I adore the 10. The others are really great, though. It's not like the others are, yeah, not any good. Right. They're they're all um, complex. They're not incredibly challenging. Um, now smell that Deanston. All the floral is what I'm talking about in the Deanston. Floral, and then coming off of this, I get way more like a, almost an intense biscuit note. Mm-hmm. A little bit of smoke back there. Yeah, there's a lot more smoke actually. Yeah. It's bitey. This is mine now. It's bitey. Yes, bitey. Okay. All right, give me some comments. The greatest. Wait, comment, do we all we, oh, come to a conclusion on Bobo afterwards? The greatest comment in the history of comments. This is not the greatest comment in the world. Yeah, shut up. This is just a tribute. <laughs> Charlie G. Hake. So I had the craziest, most weird thing happen to me last night. Oh. <laughs> After reading a comment <laughs> yesterday about uh, Green Spot and then watching your review, I found myself desperately wanting a glass. Unfortunately. Oh. Uh, I was out, so I made my way to the store to get one. I must have been more excited to drink the whiskey than I thought because I got pulled over for speeding on my way home. Mm. The, the cop asks why I was going so fast, and I explained I was watching this YouTube channel and was trying to get home to drink this amazing whiskey. The cop looks at me with a weird, weird smirk and asks what the channel was called. <laughs> I tell him the name of the channel, and he says, Whiskey Vault, huh? Let me ask you a question, Rex or Daniel. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I was blown away and having a 50-50 shot somehow, humble, somehow mumbled Rex. <laughs> he didn't, didn't say anything else but keep it under the speed limit and walked away. Uh, True story. Here's the thing. Uh, Here's, if you'd said Daniel, he would have arrested you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I... That story is like kind of amazing. Yeah. I, immedi I immediately questioned the veracity of the story. Yeah, me too. I immediately said, please God, let this be true. If it's I not, I don't like, want to know. Charlie, this can't possibly be true. Are you drunk right now? And he insists. I swear on everything I love about whiskey that this is true. My girlfriend was in the car so she can vouch for me. <laughs> I don't even think I could make up something that sounds like they're so random. It was strange though. <laughs> we both could barely believe it after it happened. <laughs> so... So, Charlie, the, the only channel that can get you out of a speeding ticket. That's right, evidently. 
Uh, so Charlie sent us a whole bunch of whiskey. We're gonna review one of them. Oh yeah. And uh, and it was a lot, and it was a significant amount of money's worth of whiskey. And then after he told us that story, I said, well, you know what? Fair's fair. We did save Charlie from a speeding ticket, which would have been thousands of dollars. Yeah. So you know, we'll call it even. I think he may be a patron saint of whiskey. Yeah. We're gonna have to get little medallion, tiny little medallion necklaces with. You really like Charlie's uh, medallions. Well, you know, that's so... always you get a patron saint. It's always on a necklace. Like St. Uh, is it Patrick, the patron saint of lost causes? Mm-hmm. Uh, Wizard Academy, this is from J.S. J. Skit. Yeah, J. Skit. J. Skit! J Wizard Academy, hey, you guys are awesome, thanks. Thanks! Uh, can you guys introduce how you, you organize your whiskey behind your Ah, beer? we almost need to be able to move this camera around for this. Oh, you're gonna do it like this, okay. Right, so I'm We're gonna, gonna superimpose from Rex's This iPhone. became a two camera shoot. What? The budget is The just... first time ever! We're, st we're real, we're a real show now. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so over there, we've got Signatory and Isla Scotch all the way down to the bottom. And then you move all the way across. This is our locked cabinet. This is not necessarily the most expensive whiskeys, but it is the stuff that's hard to replace once I run out of it. Then you've got our door, <laughs> exit door only. Then you've got Island Whiskies. And then you've got, although Oban shouldn't be up there. And then you've got um, Campbelltown. And then you've got Highland Whiskies into Lowland Whiskies. These are all single malts, right? Now we're gonna stay in the Scottish Whiskey. In the middle, we've got blends. And then we go out of Scotland, we go into World Whiskey. Down here we got Japan, France, Taiwan. We've got Wales, New Zealand, and so on. Right? And then here up, we got rye whiskey. To the top, we've got Canada. Down here, we've got Ireland. And then moving into bourbons. And then moving into shit I don't have room for. <laughs> and then moving into wheat whiskeys and some random things like, like poaching, Irish. And then some backstock of some extra stuff. And then over here, we've got American whiskeys. And Rex and our subscribe button, <laughs> and uh, we've got American single malts, and then we've got clear spirits and shit don't have room for elsewhere, and then even more shit don't have room for, and that's the vault. And there's the view for anybody that cares what we look at. Yeah. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. Now this room is not nearly as, as big as you would think it is, <laughs> uh, where you would guess, and uh, someone else asked about where we are and they thought, I thought this was Daniel's house. I'm like, really? My house? You thought this was my house? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I could be. You I wish guess. you had a vault. I have a cart. I have a cot set up in the corner to sleep on. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. You do sleep here sometimes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> You're home away from home. Hey, safety first. That's my motto. <laughs> well, I think we landed on, you got anything left over there? Uh, I'm talking about English food. Oh yeah, English food because we, I <laughs> all over English food, even though Rex will tell you who is the most boring food guy in the room? Oh. It's oh. definitely me. Oh my god. If I could pick anything, i pick the kind of things they serve in English food. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god! You almost wrapped it up. Oh. Very important thing. This is an important thing. Okay. We are changing the channel name. Ah, yes! Okay, so, so this, this there's some a, danger involved there's here. A, we could possibly blow everything up. Yeah, you totally could. But we need this channel to be on the Whiskey Vault channel right. instead of the Wizard Academy channel because I need the Wizard Academy channel to shoot Wizard Academy things. Right, and we kind of took over this channel. Well, you guys. Well, yeah, you over. guys took over this channel. Yeah, whiskey stuff. We didn't really think it was going to be that interesting. <laughs> we figured it's going to be like our moms <laughs> and a few friends. Right. And, and even uh, then, we'd have to twist their arm to watch an episode. Yeah, and they would watch. And that's why we bleep all the curse words because our moms are watching. Yeah, and some of our friends' kids. Which yeah. Hmm. So um, so here's what we're gonna do. This, we're gonna the, move it. The channel, this Wizard Academy channel, uh, is going to be changed in like a week. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be called the Whiskey the Vault. The Whiskey Vault. So don't now, freak out. YouTube says that we can make this change without losing any views or subscribers. But we have heard that there's the potential... That we lose all comments. All right, so we'll see. Oh, so that would be painful. So right. if we move everything and all of our comments go away, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. But um, that, sh that channel name change is going to happen. It has week. to happen. That's not the new channel that we're launching for our own private adventure. No. That's that still coming. We're still working coming. on that. That. Yeah. <laughs> we want to make sure before we launch it, we're going to be able to fit it into our schedule. Yeah, we don't want to have an amazing episode and then have like three months before we have a chance right. to launch the next one. So. I want to do at least once a week and if, until we can 
Make sure we can hit that. And a final shout out. We're going to end the episode with this. A final shout out to our friends at Modern Rogue. Oh, yeah. Brian Brushwood just had a new show air on Sci Fi Channel. Oh, yes. And go watch it uh, as soon as it happens next week. It's Saturday mornings, like super early. What's I DVR'd it, called? it. What's it called? It's called Scam School. Yes. And it's 7 and 7 30 on Saturday mornings. And uh, if you DVR it and watch it the same day, it counts. And that helps for the ratings. It helps keep our friend Brian on the air. Yep. Yeah. So check it out. Till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal. May you return after you see Brian's show. That's us, right. Let us know how it turned out. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.